Now, you know that smoking is the number one cause of lung cancer. I know that's not a surprise. Uh, you also may know that non-smokers are at risk for lung cancer as well. And you might be saying, well, how is that the case? Well, oftentimes it's uh, having uh, been exposed to secondhand smoke, okay? So by the way, if you smoke, really think about quitting smoking. Talk to your doctor about ways to quit smoking, uh, rather quitting smoking not only helps you, but helps the people around you, your family members, your friends, the people you live with, the people you work with, et cetera. Um, but I know that you probably knew that smoking in general is the number one cause of lung cancer. Let's talk about the causes of lung cancer that are not smoking, ones that maybe you didn't know about or maybe you haven't thought about because this is important. Um, the, 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 the second leading cause of lung cancer is something called radon. Radon is a colorless odorless gas. That's right. Uh, it typically occurs in soil, but it can seep into homes and things like that, into buildings through cracks, etc. Um, this is really important because one out of 15 homes actually has radon. It, again, is the second leading cause of lung cancer. Now, I personally, as a family doctor, sort of wish we talked about this more. It's maybe something I'll start talking about with my patients. It's something I think we should be aware of. And you're probably saying, well, then how do we to, uh, how do I know if I have radon in my home? Well, the good thing is that there, there are home testing kits for radon. That is a good thing. You can actually purchase a home testing kit for radon. You can test your home for radon. You can also learn more about radon uh, through the American Lung Association's website. I think they have really great information about radon, just especially if this seems like a new thing to you, because I just don't think we talk about it enough. But yeah, the second leading cause of lung cancer is radon, and you can um, uh, buy kits that will help detect it in your home. One out of 15 homes has as radon. All right. Uh, in no particular order for the remainder of the things, uh, a, a, another way um, to uh, to increase your risk, another thing that increases the risk for lung cancer is hazardous chemical exposure. Now, you probably knew about as asbestos. There have been commercials on TV for years about asbestos causing lung cancer, but there's other chemicals, uranium, arsenic, cadmium, nickel, petroleum, other things as well. This is a good chance for you to think about, okay, what environments are you in? Where do you work? Are you exposed to chemicals? Are you exposed to chemicals in other ways? Are you wearing, if you do work with, say, hazardous chemicals, etc., are you wearing your proper um, uh, PPE, your personal protective equipment, etc.? Are you exposed in any other way? But just knowing that, you know, hazardous chemicals, it's one of the reasons why we don't like chemicals, right, is that some of them can be potentially cancer-causing. Some of the ones I mentioned can uh, uh, increase your risk for lung cancer, all right? Uh, another thing that we don't often think about is genetics. Yeah, there are some genetic conditions conditions that predispose people to getting lung cancer. And that is important to keep in mind because this reminds us that your family history is so important. I always say this, do not keep your family history from other people in your family. Tell people what's been going on with you. Ask them to tell you what's been going on with them. Not to shame anyone, not to feel embarrassed or to feel vulnerable. It's really so that you can not only help each other, but to help your future generations um, get proper screenings and look out for proper things that they may need to. This is really important because certain um, uh, uh, genetic risk factors for lung cancer, certain risk factors for lung cancer can be genetic, okay? And the last thing I wanted to mention is particle pollution, a small and sort of a larger, sm small particles, larger particles, ones that we breathe, okay? Um, so you're probably saying, well, what is this? Uh, exhaust smoke, uh, dust, like construction site uh, debris, wildfire smoke, um, that's something that we've seen more and more in, in, in the news, right? Uh, demolition smoke, agriculture, stuff. There's a lot more categories that fill this idea of, you know, what can be particle pollution, but pollution in the air um, can really actually predispose us to uh, lung cancer. It's one of the reasons why you don't want to expose yourself to polluted air. Um, and that's that's really important to be uh, careful about that. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Let me know if this surprised you. If you knew about this, share this video with other people. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos on all sorts of things on Facebook. Please like and follow my page. On YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates on Facebook and YouTube. I have subscription groups where you get private lives and exclusive content. Please join them. I'd love to see you and chat with you off the record. Also, I have those on Instagram. Uh, go to my website, drjencaudill.com. Uh, for my free uh, weekly health newsletter and so much more. Guys, I love you. I'll talk to you soon.